Phase 1. One tank should be on the Avatar and the other on the Maiden of Valor. No DPS should attack the Maiden at the start. The fallen Avatar will affect the current tank with Desolate, increasing their damage taken by 50% for 30 seconds. On Heroic, this is 75%. The tanks should swap tank the fallen Avatar and the Maiden every two-ish stacks. At the start of the encounter, and occasionally through Phase 1, everyone will get Unbound Chaos. Just move around dodging the green swirls. He will occasionally cast Ruptured Realities. Everyone move away from him to take less damage. Shadowy Blades will appear by the Avatar that fixate on random players. There will be a beam from the blade to the player that everyone should be aware of. These fixated people should stand still and all others should not get hit by these. On Heroic, everyone who gets hit will drop a lingering darkness puddle. This makes it even more important for people to dodge, so no one should stand in these. Now for the Maiden. The fight revolves around the fallen Avatar gaining energy, which he'll slowly gain through the fight. Once he reaches full energy, it goes to Phase 2. Phase 2 has a time limit, so you want him to be in Phase 1 for as long as possible. Containment pylons will spawn around the room. You'll know where one is about to spawn from the graphic that appears on a line to the boss. The Maiden tank should get her there as soon as possible because a beam will emit out of it towards the Avatar. If this beam hits the Avatar, then he'll gain more energy. You want the main to intercept it so she gains the energy instead. When she reaches full energy, she'll put an absorption shield on herself and cast Cleansing Protocol. All DPS should DPS the shield down, and once this occurs, it'll stun her and deal 25% of her health. All DPS should then immediately switch back to the Avatar once this occurs to avoid unnecessary damage to the Maiden. Once this has happened three times, you should pay attention to the boss's energy bar and the Maiden's health. If the boss reaches full energy while the Maiden is still alive, he'll then consume her and heal himself for the percentage of health that she has. So you might need to kill her early to avoid this. On Heroic, the Avatar will cast Touch of Sargeras, which spawns three purple tornadoes around the room, which have to be soaked by three to four people, or someone with an invulnerability. Phase 2 begins once he reaches 100 energy. He'll break the floor and send everyone to the lower level. Desolate still happens for the tanks. Tanks should taunt the fallen avatar to the very corner of the arena. Random players will get a dark mark on them. Players need to stack on them to split the damage and they'll all get knocked upwards. The avatar will still cast ruptured realities and people need to move far from it. But when he casts it this time, it'll break a portion of the floor. Tanks should then taunt him to the closest corner and even in the lava. Except on Heroic, his passive buff Seer that deals damage to everyone will be empowered if he's in the lava. On Heroic, there will be tornadoes that will sweep across the platform in a straight line. These need to be dodged. If you're running out of floor space and as a last ditch effort, the tank can jump into the lava and taunt the boss away before the rupture reality to break much less, if any, of the floor. Keep in mind, this tank will probably die as a noble sacrifice.